Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome also to Sunday, day 22 in January 2023. In Acts chapter 10, verse 4, an angel said to Cornelius, Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before God. In the same way, your names and prayers are before God now. Touch, hold, or lift up your 2023 expectation list, the key, and the currency note, and let me pray. A divine visitation is coming your way. An invisible hand is coming over the expectation list, the key and the currency. Doors shall open for you. Authority and power shall back you off and flow from you from now on. You will not know lack this year. Because your remembrance has come up before God, good people will remember you for mentioning, for invitation and for blessing. God will cause your Aaron and your all to remember you and lift up your hand. As Joseph was mentioned before King Pharaoh, that saw Joseph out of prison to the throne, you shall be mentioned, your children, your spouse, your siblings, your products, your projects, your CV, goods and services shall be mentioned and positively recommended. Someone hearing me now, your story is about to change. Change positively from barrenness to fruitfulness, from singlehood to being beautifully married, from local to global and from poverty to prosperity. You will move from broke to breakthrough. As God humiliated Goliath, the giant, before David, a 17-year-old boy, every giant that wants to keep you on the same spot shall be humiliated. You will have a free flow. The things they say are not possible. You will accomplish them with ease. Every voice of judgment against you is hereby silenced in Jesus' name. Someone is faced with stiff opposition and contention. I don't know exactly from where, maybe at work, in the office, in your market, the community, the family, but I see contention and opposition. I prophesy from now. God will contend with those contending with you. The opposition shall crumble. You will overcome them all, all the forces against you. The strongest witch or wizard sent to harm you shall be burnt to ashes. If you are listening to this early today and you will attend a service to the church service today, do this. I have called out for this to be done before. It worked wonders for as many as complied then. Add to the offering you have in mind to give in church service today. Whatever amount you can afford, add to it and drop it in the offering bag. If you are not going to be in church or any service, take a seed of your choice, whatever you can afford. Sow it. Use the commission's paper or our account already with you. Transmit it today, online. If you don't have the details of the commission's account, send a chat message of request. Please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. Again, like anything and everything in this family, no force behind it at all. It is voluntary and by faith for those who believe and understand it and will do it with joy. Sunday is the beginning of a new week. May this week be special for you. You will take delivery of pleasant surprises. Miracle phone calls will be coming for you in Jesus' name. January 22 celebrant and January 20 that I omitted on their day. Open your hand for prayers. Be blessed. Your new age is blessed also. You will live long, you will live good, and you will fulfill purpose in Jesus' name. All say amen. Today is day 14 that we have been on teachings through questions and situations that people are sending in from tomorrow. We shall go back to another two weeks of sharing testimonies of God's wonders in this family. Send your new testimonies or send the ones you sent before that time has not allowed us to share. Today is still for teaching and counseling. First one, Daddy, I love your insightful teachings. But you throw more support for women than men. Kindly highlight it also, the type of a woman that a man should not marry to balance the teachings. Wow. Both my sons and daughters are equally important to me. But on the scale of six to four, women suffer more in the hand of men. To start with, it is men that go out to seek for a woman's hand in marriage. Women prayerfully wait for the right person. To come their way. But I often talk also about wife materials. I think I say that too from time to time. A wife material person 
is a virtuous lady with character, humble, respectful, brilliant, not a talkative, not dictatorial, carries grace, sincere, faithful, does not play around, not arrogant, not excessively demanding, not expense free, not extravagant in nature, moderate in all things, including dressing and makeup, able to submit uh, to people and be supportive. I can go on and on. Not a liar too. Is God fearing and God loving, prayerful. So many things. Should also be friendly. Does not allow sex before marriage, no matter the pressure from the man. She must be deep in the Lord. All sons and daughters, singles, please watch out. Don't marry wrongly. Proverbs 31 verse 30 says, Favor is deceitful. Beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Next. Good morning, Daddy. I'm 23, and I met a man who is ready to do anything for me and is serious about making me his wife. He is 40 years old. Daddy, please, I have feelings for this man. But I'm scared that the age gap will not be accepted by my parents. Daddy, advise me. Is there a problem with the age difference? Wow, yes, there is a problem with the age difference. 23 to 40, 70 years in between. There is also a problem with you. Thinking marriage and having feelings for a man of 40 when you are just 23. How far with your education? Are you done with it? Have you graduated? What about pursuing your master's degree or building a career in your education? Or career comes first, even if you don't have opportunity for much education. What about learning the skill? For me, marriage should not be your priority at 23. Build your life first. Marriage will come later. If I was your parent, I will also not agree. Next. Good evening, Daddy. Please, how can one know that he has been called by God? And how can one start early morning preaching? More grace, sir. Wow. You will know if you are called by God because God himself, through the Holy Spirit, will tell you. You will know because the potentials, gift, and grace for it will be on you. And you will know because people, other people around you in the church or even at home, will see it on you and make comment. It will be evidential. Then go before a counselor under a knowledgeable, experienced mentor a teacher and a father in the Lord. Second Corinthians 13 verse 1 says, In the mouth of two or three witnesses, every truth shall be confirmed or established. Then you talk of starting an early morning preaching. I don't understand exactly what you mean by that. Do you mean tank crier system? Waking up early in the morning and preaching like a tank crier in the community? If that is what you mean, please don't try it. That was the old system, old forgotten system. If you do that now, you could be arrested for disturbing people's peace and being a nuisance in the community. But you can do radio preaching, uh, yes, and the social media preaching. If I misunderstood you or misunderstand you, please write back to me. Next, how can I be delivered from evil thoughts? Wow. Be properly born again. Then fill your mind and your thoughts and your heart with God's word. Do warfare prayers on it as we teach it here. Next, good morning, Daddy. Please, I need your help to talk to my husband. He's a full-time pastor under a ministry in Nigeria, but I'm afraid of his spiritual life. Prayer, zero. Reading the Bible, another anointed book, zero. I have done all I could, but it remains the same, not changing. Your anointing will not dry, sir. Wow, does your husband also listen to Turning Point? Let him hear this. Sir, success in ministry will be very far and difficult without a robust prayer life of a pastor. Daily study of the word of God, waiting before God for a long time to receive uh, direction, inspiration, message, and anointing. So you can start before the people to preach, to teach, and to counsel them. Read First, first Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. 2 Timothy 2.15, Acts chapter 20, verse 28, Ephesians 6.18, and many other Bible verses like that. So please redefine your calling 
Are you called at all? Please be sure. Go for training. Have a mentor. Give yourself to prayers and reading the word of God. God will see you through. And woman, keep praying for him and give all the support and encouragement you can. Good day, daddy. My daughter is three and a half years old and still not talking. Is there a problem with that? Ah, yes. Yes, not talking at that age. Please see a pediatrician at once. In fact, you are doing this so late. Do so now. Listeners, we broadcast it to all your contacts. Do so daily. Remember what I ask you to do if you go to service today, or even if you are not, sow a seed of your choice. See the hand of God in a mighty way. Watch us online in our two Sunday services today, 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. first service, and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service. You can watch live or watch later, but please watch. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube or resubscribe after we were taken off for a long time, do so now, do so today. Do so now. I want all of us to be on our YouTube platform. Please do so. Titan and see sowing are covenant obligations to God that we will do as long as we live. Don't default, don't deny, and don't delay. Your father that sees you in secret will reward you openly. I prophesy on everyone's life today, you will do good. Today, the presence of God will overwhelm you. The power of God will take you further. What God cannot do does not exist. And God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a wonderful day and have a flourishing year. Bye.